Hey everyone, today we are going to substitute code question out binary. Okay, let me explain with this example a equal 11 and b equal 1, and they are string. So in this case, 11 plus 1, and uh, 11 is 3, right? Uh, as a, like a decimal, and uh, 1 is a 1 as a decimal. So uh, when we calculate uh, two binary, so 1 plus 1 is 0. And uh, we have carry, and uh, 1 plus uh, carry, and 0. And uh, we have carry, and uh, 1. So total um, 100, that means 4, right? So from this example, we have two points. I think uh, it's easy to iterate through from the end so that we can calculate um, 1's brace, 10's brace, and 100's brace, right? It's easy, right? And the second point is we have carry when we reach two because this is a binary. So one plus one is two, right? And in the case, we put zero, one's place, and we have carry for tens place. So question is, how can we put zero? My strategy is to divide by two and use remainder. If we want to put one, it will also work. So that means, um, when we calculate a uh, one's place, one plus one, so that is two, right? Two divide two equal zero, right? So remainder is zero, so we can put zero here. And how about when we have one? So divide two equal one, right? Remainder is one, so we can put one for one's place. Looks good. And uh, after that, we want to calculate a uh, carry, right? So in this case, we divide by two, but uh, it's not remainder, just divide two. So that means, so now we have two, right? Divide two equal one, right? And uh, what if we have one? Divide two equal zero, right? So when we have two, we have carry here. And when we have one, we don't have carry. Looks good. So in this case, we have two, right? So that's why carry should be one. So carry equal one. And uh, in solution code, uh, we put our answer into array. So let's say less and uh, z. And the next, we move tens place. And uh, first of all, we find one and uh, nothing. So that means one plus we have carry, right? So that is two. So that's why uh, we uh, calculate this uh, formula, like a two divide two and they get the remainder as a zero. So we put zero here. So that means next number should be zero. And then um, carry should be two divide two, right? Is one. So still one, we have one carry. And then move next. So uh, there is no number, right? But we have carry, so just one. So um, first of all, put one to result variable. And then um, let's calculate a uh, carry. And uh, one divide two is zero, right? And uh, <laughs> sorry, I forgot to say uh, this, this one is uh, like a one divide two and I get the remainder. And then put one here. And uh, for carry, one divide two. So this um, formula and uh, get a zero, right? So that's why um, now carry is zero. And then there is no number and there is no carry. So that's why we finish iteration. All we have to do is just reverse all numbers, connect to them, and uh, convert them to string. And uh, we will return like 100. Looks good. That is a basic idea to solve this question, so let's jump into the code. Okay, let's write the code. First of all, create a carry equals zero and a result variable. And uh, this is empty array. And uh, to um, calculate um, each string number, uh, we will use two pointers. So one is an index for a string and uh, the other is index number for p string. And uh, we iterate through from the end, as I told you. So that's why initialize length a minus 1. 
and a length of b minus 1. And then we use while loop, and the condition should be index a is greater than or equal 0, or index b is greater than or equal 0, or carry equal 1. So in that case, um, we continue. So if index a is greater than or equal 0, in the case, uh, we use carry to uh, for calculation. So carry plus equal and uh, convert to integer from string. So a and uh, index a. And then um, after that, we want to move index number to next. So index a minus equal 1. Uh, because uh, we iterate through from the end. So next index number should be minus 1, right? And uh, somebody wondering why we check um, same condition again here and here. So that's because uh, this is or and or, right? So if we meet uh, one of our condition, we continue. So that's why there is a possibility that um, index a is already uh, less than 0. So that's why uh, we need to check again. And the uh, same reason for b index. So if index b is less than or equal uh, 0, uh, not less than, greater than or equal 0, so we calculate um, for uh, from b. So carry plus equal, so convert to integer from string, so in this case b and uh, index b. And then move index b uh, to next, so minus equal 1. After that, so less dot append and uh, convert to string and uh, carry divide 2. So in this case, uh, we use a remainder. And then ca let's calculate the carry. So carry equal carry divide 2. Easy, right? And then at last, return. So we connect all um, value in this with no empty dot join. And uh, we should reverse our result, uh, result uh, variable. So less and uh, colon colon minus one. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of max of A or B. And the space complexity is also max of A or B. OK, let's solve this question with one liner for Python user. OK, let's write the code. So return binary and uh, integer and A and 2 plus integer and uh, B and 2. So uh, this two means radix. So that means this um, integer st string is uh, like a binary number. And uh, convert integer from binary. So if a is 11, so this become like a 3, right? And if b is 1, so this operation uh, will become um, like a 1, right? So uh, we get uh, uh, 3 plus 1, and uh, that is 4. And uh, convert 4 to binary. So that means 1, 0, 0, right? And uh, before return the 1, 0, 0, um, so actually uh, we have like a prefix for the first two characters. So that's why we have to remove them. So it's easy. Just uh, start from 2 to last. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of length A plus length B. That's because we convert two input string, right? So that's why. And the space complexity is, I think, also order of length A plus length B uh, because uh, we use um, binary function. So I think uh, we create a new string, right? So that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with the actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.